their Libra. Okay, so let's see what surprise message spirit has for you. What are we tapping into? It could be anything. Let's see. What are we looking at? The thinking woman. Okay, either this is your energy or someone's thinking about you, but someone is thinking about something here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We have here the angel of love. Okay, yeah, someone is thinking about love here. Okay, let's see what else we have. So, for some of you, this is someone thinking of you. Some of you, this is you thinking. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So, we have, oh, the solar plexus. Okay, self confidence here. Someone's focusing on their self confidence, making sure they're, they want to fulfill their wishes. Nine of Cups. Or to fulfill your wishes. Okay, and now, oh, we have Harmony. Oh, this is like the lover's card. Okay, someone's seriously thinking about romance. <laughs> okay, and then we have the truth, to speak the truth. I think someone held back, and now someone wants to tell someone how much they really cared. Hmm. Why does this seem so off here? Okay, let's see. We'll get this over here. Okay. The waiting game. Okay, someone's waiting for the right timing or waiting for something to happen. Triumph and success. So this will be successful. And this is also like the Ace of Swords. Someone wants to speak their truth. So either it's you going towards someone or someone wants to speak towards you. Come towards you and speak their truth. Okay, there, there's a lot of love here. Okay, so the solar plexus. Someone might be just trying to build the confidence to come up with this because this is all about your your confidence your you know your self-worth okay the three of pentacles someone wants to team up with someone wants to work together with them wants to tell them this and the fulfillment of wishes and like nine, nine cups the queen of cups someone has a lot of love very nurturing loving caring very intuitive too okay we oh look at this big open heart wow Okay, so I almost feel like someone's heart is overflowing with love. They have so much love, it's going to burst. Okay, so Queen of Cups. And the Harmony one. Let's see. Queen of Swords. Either someone's dealing with someone that was like, okay, I feel like this person wants to bring into harmony something they said, something they did. They might have spoke out of character. It feels like they were maybe kind of harsh or they felt like they maybe went too quickly to judge. This, this is what a difference, huh? This is like, he getting bopped in the head. My God, her feet are bigger than his. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, Queen of Swords. Whoop, we have here a little a little monkey. So maybe someone felt like someone was monkey. Yeah, I'm getting someone. Someone might accuse someone of monkeying around. Of course, this come this guy's sneaking in at night, it seems like it feels like weird because they just got married and she's bopping him. It's like but almost I'm feeling like maybe he she caught him coming in at night after having a few or something. So she feels like he's fooling around. Maybe someone accused someone of fooling around and they didn't and now they feel bad because we got the truth card here we have the ace of swords something's coming out something's being um expressed exposed revealed okay let's get the queen of swords okay why do we have the truth here what's going on with this truth card Six of Wands. There's going to be a victory here. Got triumph success. I almost feel like the truth is ace. Like these two are the same as this one. Like the triumph success. This is like saying, okay, there's a victory. There's an ace of swords. And you have the truth saying ace of swords and then six of wands. So it seems like it's saying, yes, there's going to be a truth that comes out. Something's going to be revealed. Someone's just waiting for the right time, maybe. Six of Pentacles. They want to balance things out. We have harmony, a balance. Things are like repeating or confirming. To balance something out here. And they have the Four of Swords. Want to heal this situation. Take take some time to heal. To fix it. Okay. So now. Why do we have the Solar Plexus with the Three of Pentacles? Let's see. The Tower. Something's going to all of a sudden happen. 
out of this person just whoever this uh, thinking woman is is just going to just come out of their shell or just express themselves but whatever it is it's going to be shocking it's going to be a surprise maybe someone's not if someone accused someone of cheating or whatever the the energy was here that someone felt like they accused them of something um because the queen of swords wants the truth the queen of swords doesn't put up with anything <laughs> so aquarius libra gemini it's um, the Queen of Cups is Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. And then we have the Tower, Aries, Scorpio, Energy. Someone wants, someone's going to be shocked by whatever happens here. Or that someone wants to partner up with them. Okay, now, the Fulfillment of Wishes in the Queen of Cups. It feels like this this person here, the thinking woman, just wants to love someone here. Or, or the person's thinking about their woman here. And it's like, um, two of wands. Like, when I look at the two of wands, I see the person holding on to a card. To a card. Oh, boy. The wand in the past. And sort of put something new or something in the that they were maybe thinking about. Or something coming new. Something that they were just... They, they're going back to the past, is what I'm saying with this card. It's like, their heart is back in the past here. Okay, so now, the Queen of Swords and the Harmony. Page of Pentacles. Coming in with an offer. A gift, maybe, even. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn could be. Get a charm on this one. We have here the flow. There's a very strong sexual connection here. A spiritual connection. A sexual connection. You know, usually this says spiritual, but sexual came out. So I guess my guides want me to say sexual. So I'm saying sexual. There's a very strong chemistry, a harmony, a, a attraction. There's also a nice flow. You guys get each other. It's like you understand this is one of these people that you could sit next to and not say a word and it's okay you guys just feel each other's energy and it's enough you don't have to put on ears you don't have to say anything um you just have to be there be there for each other and there's a silent comfort knowing that um page of pentacles let's see what about this truth with the six of wands let's see knight of swords yes coming in determined look at this i i really like that it's on the truth card here this is someone's determined to tell the truth to open up to expose to reveal to uh just gotta do this it's like being pushed being driven it's like wild horse who could not keep keep this person away to speak in their truth okay we have here oh we have the heart with the infinity symbol this is forever this person really feels so in love, so so knowing. You know, like this is a I know energy. It's like I really know. I, I, I feel this in every fiber of my being type of energy. Okay. Knight of Swords. Oops. What about the waiting game and Six of Pentacles? Waiting to have time to balance things out, to make things right. Waiting for the proper time. Waiting for destiny, maybe. The Ten of Swords. This almost feels like this person wants this waiting to be over. They want this done now, yesterday. And Eight of Cups, meaning to walk away from something made to their happiness, which is you, or vice versa. Whoever this is, thinking woman is that wants to come out of the cold here, or, or they might be leaving something substantial behind, whoever this is, but they're going to do it because they're not happy where they are. Okay, so now, let's see what we have here. Let's see, get something on the Queen of Cups. Well, I got a bunch here. Committed, insult, unknown, phone call. Okay, so this person wants to fix this phone call. I'm fixed this phone call. <laughs> oh my gosh, what was that? Fix the insult that they did here, that they insulted someone. Or, um... So th there's going to be a phone call. You know why? It almost feels like maybe someone might have someone call and it's like you don't know the person is calling. I hope they don't do that. I really don't like when people have other people step in. You know, step up to plate yourself. Jeez. <laughs> it's like, I mean, but maybe they might do that. Maybe that's okay with you. You know, I mean, that's just my pet peeve. Okay. So anyway, phone call. There's an unknown, something unknown maybe being revealed here through a phone call. It might be 
So someone wants to be committed, maybe someone feels insulted it, or maybe someone did insult someone, you know, rearrange the words how they make sense to you because they might mean one thing to you and make something else to someone else. Okay, let's do the Queen of Swords is down first. I'm going to flip them this way. Let's do the Queen of Swords. We have here TikTok. Okay, running out of time. Third party. Very soon. Healing. Okay, so very soon someone wants to heal something that was caused by a third party. Now, a third party could be someone cheated. It doesn't have to be. It could be anything outside the connection. Uh, jealousy is a third party. It's definitely, and that's why I feel here more than anything, is someone being jealous. Um, it's someone having an addiction. Someone always working, never having time for the other. Or um, family, friends, anything outside of the connection could be a third party distance that will be a third party it's coming between you okay what about the page of pentacles apology obsessed alone keeps the money yeah someone's obsessing over this they want to make this right they probably want to get alone with you and have a discussion and for some of you they're either telling you to keep the money or they're keeping the money um, might be for you, might not. Here's something. Okay, someone might let some, loan someone some money and they might say, you know what, just keep it. You don't have to pay it back. Okay, now, what about this Knight of Swords? Karma. Gift. Past life. Ooh. Okay, someone's coming to the um, realization in their mind. That you guys have a past life and they're receiving some kind of karma. They want to bring you a gift. Let me get a clarifier on the gift. It might make sense, might not. I usually just do it for money. Every once in a while I'm getting told to do a gift one. Oh, they might be giving you a bag of money. A present of money. Or something that's worth, there's a value here. They're giving you a, a gift that's worth something. Okay, but they do feel like there's a past life connection. They feel there's karma here. There's something very strong between you two. Okay, now let's see what signs we have. What are the signs here for Libra? Cancer. Leo. Scorpio. Libra. They keep on popping back. I put them down, they pop up. <laughs> Does someone pop up a lot? I almost feel when I did that, when I said that, that someone sits down and they get nervous or something. They don't like to sit still and they pop up off the couch or something. And they'll sit down again trying to be still and they'll pop up again. And you're like, would you just stay still? <laughs> okay. So then we have Sagittarius and Taurus. Okay. So this could be placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. We have Cancer, Leo, Scorpio, Libra, Sagittarius, and Taurus. Okay, now we do the letters. We're going to do 11 letters for initials, for first name, last name. If you get both someone's initials for the first and last name, and they have a middle name, and you know that middle name, you get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, future, and also your own initials. We have U, K, someone might be in the UK, P, Y, Q, I, T, S W N F. Okay, so the letters we have for you today are U K P Y Q I T S W N F. Now let's do the names. Eleven or more names. Try to be real careful. I don't want to have a million come out like an Aquarius one. <laughs> Way too many. I'm trying to be a little. You don't need to grab them. Just do that. I like when they pop out themselves, but. I feel the need to grab. <laughs> I'm in a grabby mood. <laughs> okay, let's see. We have uh, Mimi, M I M I E, Mimi, Mimi, Stephen, Terrell, T E R R E L L. Ooh, Popper. <laughs> and the Popper is Karin, K A R I N. We have Marcy, M A R C E. Rachel, R-A-C-H-E-L, Paisley, Levi, Ronnie, 
and Kimberly is spelled K-I-M-B-E-R-L-E-E. -E. Okay. okay, we have 10. I need one more. One more. Who's the lucky one? Let's see. Oop, I got, well, I'm going to have to take them. I thought I could grab one. I guess not. Look at that. <laughs> so we have Trevor. Kisha, K-Y-E-S-H-A. I know I didn't say that right. I'm sorry. And Dusty, D-U-S-T-I. So we have here 13, lucky 13. All right, guys. So remember, this is a general reading, not a personal reading. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. If it does not resonate, check out your other placement. You know, it will be really fun to check out your other placements because you don't know what we're going to be following up on. Not, not like it's just a love reading or just a money reading or, or something like that. It's whatever comes out on this first card. And so then that directs the whole reading. Okay, so check out your other placements. You might be surprised at what comes up or it might be clicking together really nicely for you all right guys and don't forget at the end of each one of these readings i have a link to the previous reading which was the second half of um july love readings so just click on that thumbnail and i'll take you right to that reading all right guys i love you so much i appreciate all your likes your shares your subscribes your comments and i hope to see you all again real soon thank you